Hi guys, well, here's a simple exercise. In Affinity Designer version 2 and Affinity Photo version 2, I'll be using the iPad, but it's exactly the same on the desktop, which I've got here, but there's no point in putting three in a row when it's done the same way. Now, the first thing, we've got an image loaded there, nice little shape, but I just want the bird. So what you do is you go to the top left-hand side, and select the pixel persona. We're working in the pixel persona. Then you select smart selection brush. That's that one there, left hand side. Now I probably want that set to about 50 to start with. We've got the selection brush. The mode up the top is add. So we're going to select and you just draw the brush down, very light touch. Now, we've got the legs to do, okay? So we've got to reduce the, oh, let's make that five pixels. Make that a little bit bigger by using my fingers to pinch it out. There we go, now we've selected that leg. There's a bit of stuff there that looks like it may not have reproduced very neatly, but there's a there's a foot and a leg there. That's near enough because we can add that in later. Now see that's slipped over the edge there, so we go up the top, select subtract, because I don't want that bit in there, I just want that bit. We don't want anywhere the where there's crawling ants that we don't want. We can take them out very carefully. Now that goes right around there. The centre part, that white area in the middle next to his feet. Let's reduce him. Oh, there's a bit on the on the beak there. That's not. We've got to add a bit on the beak. That might be where I just put my finger. Now the crawling ants go pretty well all around there. Now what you do is select that brush that's there. You see that one there? Select that and that's the refine brush. Okay now that looks pretty good at the moment. There's a little bit of white down there near his tail but I'll leave that in because you can be able to see that when it's done. Now the options over here, selection. What do I want the selection to do? I don't want a mask. I want a new layer. So I just want to cut that bird out. Select new layer. Then you go across again to the top. You can see there's a tick sign and a cross sign. So you just tap the tick sign, apply it. There's the new layer. It automatically deletes the layer underneath. Well, it doesn't delete it, it hides it. Now, there it is there. Now you can see that foot is behind a flower. So you're going to have to draw that foot in to complete it or hide it in some other graphics. Now just over here, you can see there's a section there where that leaf was. Now you can take that bird, copy the bird, it's on that on its own layer, and if you like, you can make a new layer from a new image from the clipboard. Now there's a complete. I'm oh, sorry, move the whole thing. Let's just undo that. There we go. Now there's a complete bird, and you can work on that to your heart's content. Okay, job done. Let's go out there. Now I might want to come back to that so I can save as. Bird, bird cut out, that'll do. Return, save, save it in Affinity Designer, in Dropbox. Okay, that'll do. Now, I can hop right out of that because we're going to open, and there it is there. There's, there's my bird there, and that's just on its own layer. Let me move that over there. 
Now, with Affinity Photo, as you can see, it's exactly the same. But we're working in a pixel layer to start with. So let's use the Smart Selection brush. I've got 64 there. Let's make that 50 again, just to be consistent. Remember, we're in Affinity Photo version 2 now. There's our bird. Subtract. Oops, now we've got to go back and add. So let's make that 10 pixels. Bring that out to the edge. Subtract just there. Now there's that curly bit down there. That's fixed. Now make that 5 pixels. Because, guess what? We're going to do the legs. Now, make that add again. There we go. Very gently in there. Over the feet. As I say, once you separate this from the image, then you can add those bits in later. Well, there's another bit on the beak. There we go. Okay, that's exactly what we want, and it's in Affinity Photo, not Designer this time. Too easy. Now then, refine. Find the selection you want, a new layer. Just tap on that. Find the tick. Click on Apply, and there's your bird, neatly cut out of the paper. Now, you can add to that, you can subtract from that, do what you like with it. There it is there. Let's um, make sure that's selected. Copy the bird. New from clipboard. And there's our bird. And you can work on that, get rid of all those fuzzy edges. Um, put the feet in properly, probably by using the clone tool we'll put those in. Save as. Always remember to save your work, otherwise you'll wonder where it went. Bird. Cut out. Return. Save. Affinity photo. And it's going to Dropbox. Good. There it is, all saved. That's all there is to it. I mean, how easy is that? You can cut out almost any shape. Where did that bird come from? Well, I made, I had it made on Mid Journey, the artificial intelligence um, platform. Very nice. Okay, thanks very much for watching this quick little exercise.